Hello guys, in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a, a trampoline in Unity. So I made a trampoline myself. If you want, you can download it in the description. Anyways, drag it into Unity, into the sprites. And let's give it some treatment. So change this to point, this to true color, this to multiples. Go into the sprite editor and slicing as a grid, which is 19 by 6. I know it's a weird size but that's the size that I made them so hit him so make it like that apply and also make the pixels per unity to 10 and then apply and now we have our trampolines over here and we're going to to make a game object for the trampoline and an animation at the same time by shift clicking here and shift clicking here and then dragging all of that into the scene this way we'll be creating an animation for a trampoline Name it trampoline anim like that, and now we have an animation for the trampoline, which is displayed in the animation window. But it's not in the correct order, order, because the trampoline does this, and we don't want that. And the way that I want it to display is by the trampoline first going all the way down, like like it's here, like this. Then it goes back all the way up. Then it go it goes a bit up. And then it goes back to the idle position. So in order to do this, drag this into the ends, drag all of this one frame to the left, then copy the 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 fur to the into here when it's like almost done, then when it's almost not done, and then when it's idle, copy it and put put it in there. Oh wait, I miscopied. copied. Copy this one, put it in here. Like that. And then copy this one again and put it in the end of the animation. And the animation will be something like this. Okay, now we also want to create another animation which will be the trampoline idle. Save it and just drag the idle frame to here, like that. By the way, in the trampoline animation, we want to change the sample to be 50 because that way the animation will have a much quicker and just like a trampoline would. Okay, and with these two animations created, we're going to go into the animator. Now we have here two animations, and what we'll do is first set the trampoline idle as a default animation and make a transition into the trampoline animation and back into the trampoline idle and the only change that we're going to make into these transitions is that whenever a player whenever something is standing on a trampoline then the trampoline animation will play so let's create here a variable called is stepped and whenever you click on the transition that goes from idle to the animation, and each step is equal to true, and then when this animation ends, the trampoline will go back to idle. Okay, here before we go into the coding, we have to add two more things, which will be two box colliders, one that will be the collider of the trampoline, and the default one, if you see, it's a bit off because the trampoline is like that and the, the collider is a bit bigger so we'll just click on this button over here to edit the collider and drag it a bit down like that and now we'll be also adding a trigger so fix to the box collider to the and set it as a trigger and reduce its size a bit and its y a bit and put it a bit up a little bit up like over there and now whenever and this, what this trigger will do is detect whenever something is on top of the trampoline, not actually in the side or something like that. So save this, and let's now create a new script for the trampoline called the trampoline script. Create an add, and the first thing that we're going to add to this script will be the detection of whether something is on the trigger or not. So create here a variable called 
blue on top it should be on hand something is on top and let's click here void on trigger enter void on trigger enter to the then on top will be equal to true and create also a void on trigger exit to d where on top will be equal to false just like that okay with this done now we're going to make the, the real action and for that we'll be using a void on collision state to d so void on collision stay 2d with a collision 2d called other and what will happen in this in this uh, method first we want this variable over here the this variable on the animator to be equal to true and how can we do this well First, we have to create an instance of the animator in this script. So, type here animator anim and, in, and initialize the animator by typing anim equals game object dot get component less than or and then equal sign and in the middle you put animator open and close parentheses and semicolon and what this will do is it will have to with this component over here which is this component over here to this anim variable or whatever this is okay and now on collision state whenever uh, something steps on the trampoline then we want it, that variable to be become true to the this step variable to become true so type anim dot set bool that's a bool and then bool's name is is stepped so within this floating commas or whatever this is type whatever you typed in there which is for me is stepped and the value it will be true like so now we need to put it to make it uh, false at some point and we could do it on on collision exit or on trigger exit so we already have here the on trigger exit so put it in there and make it this false and that will make it false so that so that this transition is not always happening is only happening when something is on the trampoline and now let's and now let's make the the stuff that actually is more important which is making something jump so first off we're going to nominate whatever it's jumping so we have to create here a game object variable called bouncer which will be what will be jumping and here on the on collision stay type bouncer equals other dot game object game object this way whatever is colliding whatever is colliding and staying in the trigger it's the bouncer object and of course you want these two lines to happen whenever something is being is on top of the trampoline so if on top then you want this stuff to happen okay like that and now this will make the animation happen and now we'll be creating here on the bottom a function called jump void jump and this will be the function where that will make the stuff actually jump so what this function do it, it will be actually a pretty simple function it will be bouncer dot rigid by 2d dot velocity and this will be equal to a velocity which will be a variable that will create in a moment okay so create here public vector to velocity like that and this way it will attribute to the bouncer 
this velocity whenever this function is being called. But right now this function is never being called. We will be calling this function within this animation. And how do we do this? Well, first off, click on the trampoline. Then in here in the animation window, click on the trampoline animation. Make sure that you are in that animation. And let's create an event. How can you do that? Well, click on this button over here, add event, and select the function called jump that you just created. And then this will call the function and will make the player jump or whatever is standing on the trampoline. Imagine that you put it over there, or maybe a little bit sooner, okay, like there, and give a velocity to the trampoline. For example, if the trampoline is going up, then the velocity should be going up too. And as you can see, it is working fine. And for example, let me show you. By the way, one thing that is not happening yet, let me show you. Um, if the speed is zero, you can see that our player has this weird position, and that's because the is not considering to be is not being considered to be on the ground. To be on the ground, it has to be on a layer called the ground. So just stop this. And for example, you see this grass over here has the ground layer, but this trampoline has no layer. So I'm going to put on the ground layer too. That way, when our player stands on it. It will be also considered to be on the ground, and this allows to some cool things like jumping even higher. See, it's cool. Um, anyways, let me now show you something. So, click on here and increase the size of the trampoline like that. Now, go into the prefabs and put some stuff in there, and you can see that it's also working. But sometimes a bug happens where you you see right here stuff. Uh, doesn't jump and that's a simple error that we can fix right now so so all we have to do is to make uh, to copy those this routine over here and make a similar copy to it paste it over here and just replace enter to stay in this way whenever something is staying on the trampoline the on top function this this over here will happen and so even then if there are a million objects at the in the trampoline eventually some of them will jump now you can see if I add multiple objects even more objects it still works which is pretty cool now there's a thing that I haven't shown you yet because it's a problem and this is that's the, the problem is if I change the velocity of the trampoline for something different from from uh, value going up, for example, if I put 10 in the x, you can see that the boxes work correctly, but the player is all buggy, and that's because something that we did in one of the last tutorials, which is let me show you. Whenever our player is standing on something, you will adopt the velocity of that which is the base speed because the base speed is zero and the base speed is basically whenever our player is not pressing a key whenever our player is not pressing a key it should be stopped so for example here it will be stopped and even if this is like 10 if our player is not pressing a key then it should be stopped and it is being stopped but we don't want that we want it to, to have the velocity 10 just like it's written in there so to make that work, we're going to have to add a few lines of code into the on collision state, and we will also have to access the player script. First off, go into the player script, and we're going to delete uh, two lines of code that actually are cause they actually make almost nothing and cause a bit of trouble. So just delete these two lines over here. If you don't have them, great, it's better for you. Delete these two lines. Which basically made the player go faster when he is going too slow. So delete these lines like that in the player, and that base speed, which is the speed that the player is having. For example, imagine that the player is is standing on a platform that is going at five meters per second on that way. Then the player will have that base speed, and now we want the base speed to be equal 
to the speed of the that the trampoline gives him the x speed d speed over here so if this is 10 the base speed should be 10 and how can we access this base speed from this script well first we have to make the base speed be a public value save and in the trampoline script we're going to use it to access that variable by here in the collision state creating a if clause so if whatever is colliding with a trampoline dot game object dot tag is equal to player so if the player is colliding is what is colliding with the with this then we we'll want to give to change the base speed of the player so other dot game object and if you don't have this base speed part good because you can skip this part over here anyways I have it and I think it's it's useful so I'm going to make this anyways other dot game object dot get component and this will find a component on the player because it has it finds first this finds the player and it gets the component called we want the script so the component will be simple player zero which is the name of my script so type here simple player zero and we want to to access the base and like this and we want to access the base speed of the player so base speed and we want it to be equal to the velocity dot x and this way our player can move freely let me show you if we jump on a trampoline you see that our player goes on to one of the directions like that just like you want it and now there's one more thing I want to show you which is to make you able to select whether this trampoline will send the the the, the player into a specific direction or if for example the trampoline is like this it will send the player in that direction so that's a pretty simple thing to do that it ends up being useful so we're going to create here two variables one which is a public bool custom speed and the other will be a public vector called custom speed custom velocity okay and now we remember that we have this velocity over here that this was the custom velocity we made the vector over there but we still need this one so just instead of making it public make it private like that and this velocity can be two things it can be the velocity that we put in here in here or it can be the the velocity of the direction of the play of the trampoline and to select that here in for example the update function you can do it in here or in the jump it's the same thing let's make it actually in the jump to make it less use it less memory or whatever this is so if custom speed so if it's true then we want the velocity which is the velocity that our player will be shooting at to be equal to the custom speed or the custom velocity which is this thing over here else we want the velocity to be equal to the transform dot up times oh, times the multiplier factor because because if you don't know the transform dot up has a one of magnitude that's like nothing it will make the player jump nothing so we're going to create that multiplier bool uh, float so multiplier like this save and hopefully everything is working fine let's see okay change this for example for 20 and the multiplier for 10 and play and our player is over here and if we go into the trampoline because the the custom speed is unchecked then our player bounces off the trampoline just like pretended but if the custom speed is checked then 
the player goes up or whatever is the direction of this now as you can see the player is sliding down a bit before he gets before he jumps and that can that can be fixed by just by changing this this event to happen sooner but you know I don't think that's needed but anyways if you want it you can put it sooner and this way it will slide less and you know you can do pretty cool stuff with this you can even put like a hundred trampolines and make the player go all the way through those to all those trampolines and you know you can even add more features for example make the, the trampoline only jump when the player presses W or stuff like that now the last thing that I'm going to do is to save this trampoline into the prefabs so go on the trampoline and drag it into the prefabs folder and now we have a trampoline thank you for watching any questions that you have leave them in the comments any requests that you have leave them in the comments goodbye see you next time